Wow, Mortal Kombat 1, huh? There is so much that I want to talk about when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1. So let's get into it. After looking at the trailer of Mortal Kombat 1 for like 20 times, I realized that a lot is changing when it comes to the story. Liu Kang is a god. Chang Hume is still alive. And Raiden still has his omelet. Scorpion's eyes are not white. So does this mean that he's still alive? And Sub-Zero and Scorpion are wearing the same gi. So does this mean they're on the same team? Katana and Melina are together like sisters. So the question is, is where is Jay? So many questions that needs answers, but knowing Netherrealm, they will answer them for sure. So Mortal Kombat 1 is said to be a new look at the Mortal Kombat world. And I am super excited because for the first time, more, uh, Netherrealm and Mortal Kombat has done something that I've always wanted to see. They've made Liu Kang the Elder God, and it looks like Raiden will be the pupil. I wonder if Raiden will have like electricity powers or not, or will he use some type of magic, or will he fight like a Wuxi warrior? That is something that I want to see when it comes down the line in gameplay. Then there's the question of cameo fighters, right? They have this thing called cameo fighters where it looks like you're going to be able to get a tag team partner to fight alongside you in battles and extend combos and stuff like that. Kind of like Marvel vs. Capcom 1, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. I would love to see that in a Mortal Kombat game. So the question is, is that going to be, is Mortal Kombat 1 going to be a tag team fighter with assists or is it going to be a one-on-one -on -one fighter with assists? That's a question that we need to get answered immediately because I want to know that. I want to know, is it going to be a tag fighter or not? Because if Mortal Kombat 1 is a tag fighter, that is going to be crazy when it comes to EVO tournaments and combo breakers down the road because that's going to basically change the whole dynamic of the game. And I wonder what the combo system for this game will be. Will it be more like Mortal Kombat X and Mortal Kombat 9, where it's crazy absurd combos that you can just make a combo living out of everything? Or will it be more toned down like Mortal Kombat 11 and more footsie focused? That's something that I want to know about Mortal Kombat 1, and that's a burning question that's been in my mind. Another thing that I've noticed is that Raiden still has his amulet, and that's kind of crazy. Does that mean that Shinnok uh, is in this timeline? Does that mean Quan Chi exists? Uh, what villains are still around and what heroes are still around? Because in the trailer, we did not see Johnny Cage, we did not see Sonya, and we did not see Jax at all. No, none of the special forces characters and another thing too in this new world does the combat kids exist because it seems like they're going way way back so the question is is do the combat kids exist in this timeline and what i mean by the combat kids that's cassie cage jacqueline briggs takeda and kong jin do they exist in this world there's so many questions that i have for Mortal Kombat 1, man, there's so many, it's like, Jesus Christ. Like, I don't know where to begin. I can say one thing that I can understand from the story so far is Liu Kang is definitely the main focus of it. And that could be good or bad. He could be a god who is doing a whole bunch of good stuff, but doing it the wrong way. And he turns evil, or he can go full on Dark Raiden, and he could necessarily be the bad guy of the story. They said on the Mortal Kombat website that the story is going to be expensive. And I wonder if you're going to be able to make choices like moral choices, like moral compass choices where you can either be good or bad in the story. That would give the story mode a whole bunch of dynamic and depth, which I think a lot of us would enjoy to play a story like that. I, maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but let me know in the comment section down below. Another question that has been burning in my mind is who will be the main villain of Mortal Kombat 1? Um, could it be Liu Kang himself? Could he be the main villain? 
or can it be Shang Tsung? Which would be odd because he's a pre-order bonus. You know, him being the main villain. Could we go back to the past, perhaps? Could we go back to uh, the Dragon King or Naga? Could he be the main villain? Because that is a question that has been burning a lot of us minds. I, I know a lot of the people that I talk to in my circle when it comes to Mortal Kombat, they always say, you know what? I would like to have Onaga come back as a villain. And I mean, f to me, when I was growing up as a kid, what, you know, playing Mortal Kombat Deception, and the first time I seen Onaga, and I saw that uh, the likes of Quan Chi, Shang Tsung, and Raiden could not destroy this monster, this monstrosity, and he came in and beat all three of them and emerge victorious. I mean, that is forever in my mind as Onaga is probably one of the most powerful characters I've ever seen. And even Shao Kahn couldn't beat him. He had to poison him to take over Outworld. So that's a person that is a screen, you know, extremely strong and is a person that could definitely take on the likes of Liu Kang at his new Fire God status which I think would be very interesting to look. Or maybe uh, maybe another villain they could do um, is Blaze. They could have Blaze as the new villain. You know what I mean? This can be the beginning and the end of the world. You know what I mean? They could, they could have Blaze, or they could have a new villain entirely. Somebody we've never expected to be the villain, which would be crazy. It's so much potential this story can go to, so many areas this story can go to where I'm just super excited for what Mortal Kombat 1 can be because, as I, like I said before, I am a huge Mortal Kombat fanboy. I played all the Mortal Kombats. I grew up with all of them from 1992 to 2019. I've been, you know, and now I've been playing Mortal Kombat. So I'm a huge fan of the series. And it's like they could get any kind of villain. I mean, me personally, my personal preference. It's, I would love to see Anaga come back and be very important to the story. Another thing, too, is, okay, so they have these new, you know, Luke Kang made this new era, but they, but, uh, you know, if you look at the live screen that it just did for the combat cast, Ed Boon said in it that this story is not a continuation of Eleven, and, you know, man, that, that's got me confused for real, because it's like, how? It, you know, Luke Kang was a fire god at the end of Eleven. He's a fire god now. So, that's just, that's just mind-boggling. Maybe he has something he's not telling us or something he's not allowed to say at this point. And he's just trying to give us a hint that it's more to this world than what it seems. Which would be very interesting. And I'm just very intrigued overall to see what this story is going to go to. Because it's so much that Mortal Kombat can do as a story because like I say Mortal Kombat has one of the best story modes of all time when it comes to fighting games the second one under that one is Tekken especially if they landed right with Tekken 8 but that's besides the point Mortal Kombat has some very great storytelling they do a really good job like even if the story is loose in some ends and some of the plot doesn't make any sense it's still a joy and a fun to play through like I remember when Aftermath came out I had so much fun playing Mortal Kombat Aftermath and seeing the perspective of the villains and getting to pick between the good and the bad side and who wins at the end like I was you know that was impressive to me so talk about Mortal Kombat 1 all day but at the end of the day man that was just me talking about some of the things that I had some of the burning questions that I had in my mind um, that being said, man, I hope that you enjoyed this video of me just having a general discussion of Mortal Kombat 1, man. Let me know what some of your questions is down below. Some of the questions you would like to see answered in future videos. But that being said, man, love Mortal Kombat. Love my community. We had 1,500 subscribers, man. Let's go. And it's your boy Quick. And I'm out.